Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the measures of time. Remember that one millennium is equal to 10 centuries and one century is equal to 100 years, one decade is equal to 10 years, one score is equal to 20 years, one year is equal to 12 months or 52 weeks or 365 days and in one month there are 30 days in one day there are 24 hours and in one hour there are 60 minutes and in one minute is equal to 60 seconds now let's try to convert 15 days to hour so we all know that there are 24 hours in one day so we are just going to multiply 15 days by 24 hours because in one uh, because in 24 hours there is one day so 15 days times 24 hours over one day then cancel day then simplify 15 times 24 divided by 1 is equal to 360 hours so therefore in 15 days there are 360 hours now example number two how about if we are going to convert eight hours to minutes we all know that there is 60 minutes in one hour so let us multiply 8 hours by 60 minutes over 1 hour. So cancel muna natin yung hour because we are looking for the minutes. Now simplify 8 times 60 divided by 1 is equal to 480. So therefore in 8 hours there are 480 minutes. Now example number 3. For example, we are going to convert 24 minutes to seconds. Again, there are 60 seconds in 1 minute. So, we are going to multiply 24 minutes by 60 seconds over 1 minute. Again, canceled minute. So, 24 times 60 divided by 1 so the answer is 1440 seconds so again there are 1440 seconds in 24 minutes another example number four let us convert six scores to years again we all know that in uh one score there are there are 20 years so we are going to multiply six scores by 20 years okay so cancel the score so the final answer is 120 years so sa mga binigay ko na example pwede naman tayo na mag-direct na kaagad from 24 times 60 or 6 times 20 na kaagad. Okay, so it's up to you kung saan ka mas komportable. Now, let's have another example. Example number 5. So, for example, we are going to convert 7,200 minutes to days. Again, walang direktang conversion from minutes to days. So, ag ang gagawin natin ngayon ay i-convert muna natin yung minutes papunta kay hour then after kay hour i ko convert naman natin siya papunta kay day okay so it will be like this 7200 minutes times 1 hour over 60 minutes so again there is 60 minutes in 1 hour now multiply again natin ng 1 day over 24 hours okay because we are looking for the day we are going to uh, cancel minutes and hours now let's simplify 7200 times 1 is equal to 7200 times 1 again is equal to 7200 over 
60 times 24 is equal to 1,440. Then, let's divide 7,200 divided by 1,440. So, the answer is 5. So, there are 5 days in 7,200 minutes. Okay? Now, it's your turn. Convert the following as indicated. So, again, if you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson, measures of temperature. Thank you for watching. Happy learning, everyone.